ladies and gentlemen, the turbulence about to hit hard in a minute from now, so it is highly advised that you put your seat belts on, man, because this drama is reaching wildfires, okay? And the story is so wild. Of course, we all saw the cancellation of Dr. Disrespect, right? It was nuclear, man. Everybody canceled him, right? His agency, talent agency dropped him. He was in the same agency as Robert Downey Jr. Not pointing fingers at Robert Downey Jr. or anything like that, but just to make that point, he was that big. His own gaming studio fired him, right? NBA denounced him, NFL denounced him, sponsors dropped him. We saw everybody respond on that story. But with Chris Tyson, the hypocrisy is real, okay? Of course, the internet is calling him out, calling him Dr. Chris Respect, uh, uh, Creepy Chris. The K in Chris stands for kids is something people are saying Bruh. as well, right? Some people are actually saying that. And the story has gone nuclear right now, but still, the outlets, the bigger outlets are not even touching this story which kind of goes to show you the real hypocrisy that we have like the video if you're with leave the kids alone dislike the video if you're not yeah if you're not dislike the video so we know who you are and we can you know report you to the fbi and all that man you know what i'm saying but here's the thing though so face banks responded by saying this it's pretty clear as day that chris tyson's been an effing weirdo with little kids it's the grossest thing a human can be guilty of crazy to see how quiet the timeline is about this considering how loud everyone was regarding dr disrespect interesting i wonder why he he in line he in line then xqc out of everybody oh, all i gotta say is that i wish i could say psych right now but f respect is rising for xqc right now because he says i follow mostly only influential creators here yet most have been silent about the chris tyson situation pretty deviant behavior across the board weirdo can't wait to read some of the cope justifications on why it wasn't addressed then the homie uh kang min lee comes out says i call him out xqc uh we, we got the homie nick merck says that there's the x we know and love uh respect and then you know sickers are blasting pokemon uh because pokemon did went crazy she went nuclear man uh she was like pokemon concerned uh dex Cerdo responded as well they made an article on Pokemon concern for Dr. Disrespect's kids after he admitted to DMing minor. I guess Sunny V2 was right, okay? We got Nick Merce responding. I want to actually play you that video as well. Roll this. Okay, so Chris Tyson has finally responded to all the allegations and also made an apology. So quick recap for you guys, or you can watch my previous video. Wait for Basically, it. Chris Tyson is Mr. Beast's friend who appears in a lot of the videos, and Chris was just exposed for about 50 different things, okay? Number one is purchasing art from Shadman, who is a degenerate freak who draws real children children in Peron scenarios like Keemstar's eight-year-old daughter. So Chris would purchase illegal art from Shadman. I, I, I read people saying that, oh, it's just art, bro. These things were not even leaving Keemstar's eight years old daughter, bro. Like, holy F, bro. Like, what, what, th this is this is insanity, though. Of these uh, lollipop-type uh, pictures and frame it on their living room wall. Number two, Chris had a million degenerate tweets begging for this illegal art of popular characters like Beast Boy, Caillou, and Mabel and Dipper from Gravity Falls. Number three, Chris was allegedly exposed for exchanging inappropriate messages with there two separate 14-year-olds when Chris was 20. That is obviously one of the worst ones. Uh, anyways, we're going to be covering everything, starting with Chris's apology to all the allegations, to Okay. everybody's response to the situation so here we have chris's tweet i would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone Bruh. it was not my intent seeing recent events we've mutually decided it's best that i permanently step away from all things mr beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health okay leave your family <laughs> don't do that leave your kid alone bro first off stay away from your family stay away <laughs> from tucker no listen man that's an insane thing to say right and i never thought that i will be saying this but man the kids custody should go to the mom bro you feel what i'm saying like that th this is just insane bro like he leave he left his family for pursuing that this is why i always say man control your dragons bro he couldn't control his dragon so he had to get rid of his dragon you feel what i'm saying like you don't want to end up in a situation where you couldn't control your dragon and then your dragon is controlling you you feel what i'm saying like don't do that man but in this situation man the, the kid's custody absolutely should go to the uh, to the mom man your poor son, who does not deserve a disgusting, despicable parent such as yourself, who is clearly interested in minors, okay? And this is such a non-apology. This is basically Chris saying that, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry if you got offended by me talking to kids. Like, please. Here's what the replies are saying. If you're apologizing, are you saying all of the allegations are true? Because that's what this statement appears to be suggesting. I mean, if Jake somebody doesn't well deny that they weren't talking to, like, underage children and all of this degenerate stuff, you're basically admitting it. Pathetic, mm. you didn't apologize to me. I'm 
Yeah, Jake, uh, Jake Franklin as well, somebody who worked with Mr. Beast, right? And, and a lot of people are also bringing Mr. Beast, of course, understandable, like, why people are bringing in Mr. Beast. Uh, but people are also accusing and labeling Mr. Beast as that, which I think is a little bit too far. It's like, you know, guilt by asso association. Association? Uh, I, I don't like that part because... Yeah, you know, but, but these seconds have went crazy on Dr. Disrespect, and they also called out Tim the Tatman, Nick Merx for doing the same crap as Dr. Disrespect, and I'm gonna say this, yes, Dr. Dr. Disrespect is guilty because he admitted to some of the allegations in his own statement, this is not my opinion, so yeah, he has admitted, but you cannot blame Tim the Tatman or Nick Merck. So guilt by association is going crazy right now, or was going crazy a month ago with it, right? But I'm gonna go uh, as far as to say that, yes, the Dr. Disrespect situation is insane, you cannot defend him, but the Chris Tyson situation is even worse than the Dr. Disrespect situation based on what we're seeing right now. If tomorrow, like, some more evidence comes out uh, on Dr. Disrespect and if it's actually worse than Chris Tyson, then yeah, of course, then it's gonna be worse than the Chris Tyson situation. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that the Chris Tyson situation is 10 times worse than, than Dr. Disrespect's story, but we're not seeing people cover it the way everybody covered the uh, Chris Tyson situation and he's not getting cancelled. Chris Tyson is not getting cancelled or uh, or anything like that. Uh, uh, the, the way uh, Dr. Disrespect got cancelled, right? It's insane and Keemstar also responded there, so. A month ago in private, when I brought up your behavior stuff, you were basically admitting it. Pathetic, you didn't apologize to me a month ago in private when I brought up your behavior supporting the cartoon artist that drew my eight-year-old daughter in a sexual way. What changed? Yeah, exactly. You had a conversation with Keemstar regarding this, all right? That time you didn't apologize, but now after all this public backlash, you seem very apologetic. They should be checking your hard drives. So this was true in Sensitive Society linking the Sunny V2 video. Prison yeah. for you, Pedo. Oh, he was right, man. Sunny V2 was right, bro. He was right, bro. Bro, you're disgusting and should be in jail forever. I agree. Okay, so Chris continues the apology saying, I want to add that I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations, Lava, has vocally supported that they are false. This is so stupid because you're basically taking the opinion of the child that was groomed by you. Like, if the grooming was successful, yes, they would be on your side because you have successfully brought them to your side with your goddamn grooming. You were sending inappropriate messages to this 13-year-old kid when you were 20. You didn't deny any of that, okay? Basically, everything we've seen has been real. So, I don't know. There's no defending that. You gotta be locked up, all right? This is EDP 445 behavior. Ugh. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I've hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors uh -huh. together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad, edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In the past years, I've learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, uh, but it, I can... It's not just humor, dog. Like, you took do uh, Keemstar's daughter and, and did all that, and there's, like, a whole lot of other stuff that's going around as well bro like this is not just humor bruh this is not just humor man you need to work on myself humor is one thing yeah dark humor but like it's one thing even that is not acceptable but but still okay humor is one thing but like you did that you did all that man like damn bro what oh. we talking okay about? this is hilarious because here you are saying that it's just edgy jokes when you literally bought illegal art and framed it on your wall and you went after real kids as a full-grown adult Nice try trying to completely twist the situation and failing miserably. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I've stepped away. Now listen, I'm not a guilt by association type of guy, but you cannot tell me nobody in the Mr. Beast crew knew about Chris Tyson's behavior when- They must have known. Uh, yeah, okay, on this one, yeah, I, I do agree, like, Mr. Beast probably knows about it, but, like, uh, to be honest, though, I don't see him responding, though. The craziest part, okay, this is gonna sound like a wild, this is a wildfire that's uh, about to rage, okay? Now, I'm not sure for how long you guys have been around, or if, you, if you're new here, we're meeting here for the first time, hey, what's up, how you doing, man? But, like, <laughs> listen, this story is so crazy, and I want to play you Nick Merck's response as well, but this story is so crazy because uh, almost two years ago at this point when Nick Merck's came out, said that leave the kids alone, that was the right thing to, in my mind. I mean, that was not even anything controversial. He just said, leave the kids alone. Simple as that, right? And the Wokies, they had a meltdown. Activision removed his skin. You know, Tim the Tat Man, Dr. Disrespect. You know, there was, you know, stuff happening at the time. But he said, leave the kids alone. And the Wokies, they had a meltdown. On this one, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe Chris Tyson also did respond. Then, you know, they started beefing, 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 everybody beefing, 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 beefing. So they started beefing on the internet, on Twitter. And, and you know it has been going on for way too long and then 
uh, Nick Merck said this to Chris Tyson, you should be ashamed of yourself leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend. And then Mr. Beast responded, he responded right there by saying that Eva is literally always with her kid and doesn't even go on shoots to spend more time with him. Tuck man is always smiling, not sure why this rumor is a thing. But I also want to real quick play you this clip as well. Check this roll. One, but it's apparent. It's not like a debatable thing. This is an issue. Now, screenshots provided by Prism show how Wait, Chris offered lava moderation to pumps for a shit. stream. They're, they're, this they're was gonna lava was 14 it. at the time, with Chris being 21, and this was during 2018. In the same year, Chris... This guy Beast came out and said Ava is a great father to his two-year-old boy. Bruh. That's what he said on Twitter. To me. <laughs> I don't care how popular you are. I don't care how much money you got, how much power you think you got. Dog, don't... Speak to me that way. Are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah, what we're talking about. He's got bro. his two-year-old boy in heels that fit. There's a concern here, and if yeah. there isn't for you, then you are part of the problem. Yeah, it's, it's not okay. Delusion, it's not healthy. Bro, like, it's weird damn. now. Tyson makes a tw damn. Like it, it, it's crazy, bro. Like it, it, it really is crazy. Like as to what's going on, y'all, man. This is why I say, man, control your dragon, bro. Don't let the dragon control you, bro. You want to be the one in control, bro. But wait for it. Roll it. That picture was framed on the wall, and Mr. Beast clearly looked at that as well. So I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything, but if more people get exposed in the coming weeks and months, do not be surprised. And I called it, okay? Uh, my first response, obviously, you are a degenerate. Thank you. Please like this tweet. Alleged pedo, sorry if you were offended, focuses on mental health. Dr. Chris Respect. <laughs> yeah, there we go, man. Hey, Chris, I heard you like I'm young. Bruh. What about the victims? No, no, no. Don't care about the victims. I'm sorry if the <laughs> victim was offended, by the way. See you never, hopefully. Hope your ex wife keeps you well away from that kid. See, this is what I didn't understand. Like, uh, the thing is, if if Chris's wife comes out and defends Chris again... Damn, man. Beautiful family just shattered like that, bro. That is crazy, man. That is insane, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Like, d d damn. 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 And regarding the situation, I will completely lose faith in humanity because there is no way... No and defends Chris again. See, this is what I didn't understand. Like, uh, the thing is, if if Chris's wife comes out and defends Chris again regarding the situation, I will completely lose faith in humanity because mm. there is no way the wife also didn't know about all of this considering it was public and- I left my- oh, 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 oh. I left my friend alone with children on an island for 30 days, uh, Mr. Beast. Damn, man. Like, yeah, the meme's gonna be crazy, bro. Like, I, I give you $1 million uh to change your uh, to change your gender if you want to change your gender i give you one million dollars mr beast be like yeah i've seen those memes too man and if you're the wife of someone you definitely know about them so i am dude my susso meters are going off on everybody i got red laser eyes i'm, I'm about to homelander everybody with laser vision right now nobody is safe everybody's a pp bro your tranquilo, apology is not tranquilo. accepted can't believe there were people defending this mf <laughs> rip bozo so this was one of the people that chris groomed and they came out defending them these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth ava never did anything wrong and made a few edgy jokes i was never exploited or taken advantage of and they linked two videos one by a cheeto and sensitive of society the thing is this person has brain damage because these two videos didn't even talk about this grooming situation at all they talked about the same thing i talked about which was the lollipop art and the shadman situation which is completely unrelated so this person made a follow-up a day after refusing to take out the original tweet with 15 million views spreading lies uh -huh. saying i'm not a victim i'm not backpedaling everything i've stated is true which uh -huh. is not this is literally false right here yesterday while under a lot of stress from trying to get my story out as quickly as possible i made a mistake and included two videos oh, that had go. nothing to do with my situation here are the correct videos and these ones should be taken down and this okay. is uh the videos talking about the minor situation but the thing is oh, they shouldn't be taken man. down because they're mainly speculating on what happened you can't take down a video just because yeah. you don't like it and just because you were exposed as a victim of grace like in fact a lot of people are responding saying why did he publicly apologize then you yeah. can't mass brigade and send everyone to take down these videos why do you do this to yourself you were a child and had a grown man messaging you and being inappropriate with you you may not see yourself as a victim but in a society where children should be protected it yeah. has failed you and he and as a grown man he should you know, have the, the, the positive thing out of this is that he's stepping down for how long i'm not sure i hope it's a permanent step down man like mr beast has a the biggest channel out there okay biggest channel out there a lot of kids watch it and having chris on it bro like come on now man he should have never been on the uh like if, yeah you can go play you can go do i mean you can live your life yeah you want to change your gender yeah go for it right like do that 
uh, whatever, right? But leave the kids alone. Simple as that. And when you have that big of an audience, I'm talking specifically about Mr. Beast, 300 plus million subscribers channel, right? So many kids watch his channel, bro. Like having Chris on it now, bro. Like, come on, man. Just leave the kids alone. Simple as that. So that's that's the, the, the positive that came out of this news that he's stepping down. I hope it's permanent. I hope this is not like, uh, yeah, he's gonna uh, step away till this drama or this uh you know this drama fades away and gonna come back later on i hope it's not that have known better exactly that's the thing this person doesn't know that they're a victim because they were taken advantage of by creepy chris all right <laughs> that's our new name for chris creepy chris all right it, it rolls off the tongue now we got a tweet by i expose racist and pedos like you never want to be seen on this account ever <laughs> mr beast friend chris tyson tried to rope a 14 year old boy these are all allegations whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Tranquilo, 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 papa. 2019 Snapchat messages between Chris and a 14 year old at the time were posted to X, but were taken down. Damn. Holy hell. And, and we're seeing like Twitter accounts. We're seeing individuals talk about it, but we're not seeing like the, you know, the official accounts. When I say the official accounts, I mean like, you know, the, the, the same accounts, for example, that came out and canceled Dr. Disrespect and all that. Uh, denounced him, his. I mean, his own gaming company, crazy bro, his own gaming company, and he was in the same talent agency, like I said, and, and I found that out recently, I, uh, I, I will link you that video right, uh, right uh, at the end of this video, because I found that out recently as well, that he was in the same talent agency as Robert Downey J Jr., point is that he was big, man, he was very big, he still is, he still is big, but you feel what I'm saying, right, like he had something that many can only dream of, uh, so he had that and he was fired from that just taken out of that uh his own studio fired him nfl denounced him nba sponsor just you know going crazy but with mr beast chris tyson nothing has happened though it's just chris tyson came out he came out he apologized and says that i'm stepping down it's a mutual decision so that's it that simply that's what happened only there's nothing else that went down so you see the hypocrisy now i'm not saying that yeah uh dr disrespect shouldn't have been canceled but it's like the the left has set this standard right you know we all have set the standard you get caught doing something like that you get canceled you get canceled right so why not this time you know so there is real hypocrisy we gotta be fair we gotta be fair in this one we gotta be fair by the way, 2019 Snapchat messages and a 14 year old were posted to X but taken down. Chris Tyson met with a 13 year old during a giveaway organized by Mr. Beast. Do you believe Mr. Beast didn't know about his best friend's lust for children? And they've attached a video here. All right, oh. here is the video we got Ava Chris Tyson's uh, Snapchat account, it seems. Um, and we got some weird messages here. Uh, they're talking about Belle Delphine's bathwater, which is definitely something uh, a little bit odd. Thanks, Dad. Uh, that's Chris saying that. That wasn't the 13 year old. So, Chris talking to a 13 year old there. I'll email you my PC, okay. Uh, there was also, haha, when it's your wedding, you can do what you want. Interesting. Did you want to get married, Chris? What, what's what's going on here? Of course, dad and kissy emojis. No, 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 no. You don't want anything expensive for your birthday? I could spoil you. I barely got screen time. I wish you could see me more. I wish I was in a video. Me too. It's too soon, though. I could introduce you to everyone when you get a little older. That would be awesome. Your birthday Holy. is coming up soon, isn't it? Okay. Now, th this could all be saved by if the person says, oh, yeah, I'm turning 25, 20, right? Yeah. December 2. You're turning? Question mark? 40. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Lock him up. It's over. It is over, bro. That is... Man, 2024 is just a wild year. And, and more so than that, 2017 and 2018s were truly dark times. You know, that's when, like, the Dr. Disrespect situation happened. But it ended up getting exposed in this year, 2024. And the Chris Tyson situation. We had the Diddy stuff happening. Drake situation happening. What? Bro, what, what is going on, man? What is going on, bro? This is Lock Chris up. Throw away the key. This is absolutely unacceptable. Where will the party be at? My mom is still deciding. What do you want? I could give you anything. You don't want anything expensive? I could spoil you. It's fine. Look at my sna- Nah. Oh, the lol emoji. The lamao emoji. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, I'm tired texting you. Is the only thing keeping me awake right now? I love- Nah. <laughs> it's over, guys. 
<laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I tried to give Chris the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm trying not to, you know, trying to be on the innocent until proven guilty. But the fact that Chris is like basically admitted like, oh, everything is basically true. I'm not going to disprove anything except the alleged grooming or whatever. What about this? I mean, I love playing Minecraft with you. Of course you choose Minecraft, huh? We all know what happens in the Minecraft community if you're a creator there, all right? So I love you to a 13 year old is crazy to a 14 year old, whatever. Holy shit, life in prison. Dude needs to be called out by all the streamers. Leave Mr. Beast out of it. He's a good guy. I'm praying that is the case. But I, having yeah, a best friend like Yeah, I, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I, I hope like, because Mr. Beast is one of those guys that always stayed uh, away and stayed clear of the controversies. This is just way too big. And I'm gonna still say guilt by association is something that I don't fly with. Like, I don't want to blame Mr. Beast, but... Uh, uh, no, I don't want to blame him. But unless, unless there's evidence, right? Unless there's evidence, uh, of course, you cannot be uh, innocent until proven guilty. You cannot, like, start accusing people of that crap, right? Unless you got, like, real hard, concrete evidence. And in the case of Chris Tyson, there's plenty. There is plenty. I would say there is way more than the doctor disrespect. This is why I said it's uh, 10 times. Not defending Doc here because he also admitted in his own statement and we have had countless uh, uh, videos on this uh, topic as well, right? On that matter. But this Chris Tyson situation is 10 times worse than the doc uh, doctor disrespect situation. And guys, this is that video that I was referring to where we found out that he was in the same talent agency as Robert Downey Jr. So check out this video. This is the latest video we've done on Dr. Disrespect with some new uh, clips that were recently found out as well, recently discovered. That drama is still kind of ongoing, kind of died. Of course it died, but there's some new information. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.